Paul, this is a Giles Harlequin service teapot and cover. Absolutely, but a very, very interesting one. You will see, if I turn the teapot around, you will see not only one, but two, but three, but four, five, six, seven, eight different panels of decoration. It is perhaps one of the most important Worcester teapots that has survived. It was made up at Worcester circa 1768 to 70 and then sent down to be decorated in the, in the most fashionable style in London by James Giles, who was a Huguenot um, uh, emigrant who made a, a, a great study of fashion within London and France and here we have one of his finest pieces a pear-shaped teapot with interlaced handles but something different although highly important from an academic point of view linking up with documentary um, uh, plates in the Victorian Albert Museum that tell us that it is decorated by the Giles Atelier notwithstanding that the ground colour turquoise symbolic of marriage in the 18th and 19th centuries. The last vestige of this that we have in our modern day and age is something old, something new, something borrowed and something blue. Traditionally the colour of turquoise essentially links with marriage. And then we have on the front of the teapot the two um, figures, the, the lady and the gentleman um, painted after designs by David Teniers and you see on either side of them their trees of life. So we see a co-joining of, um, of, of the lady and the man. They're two families represented by the two trees and a little circlet of Venus's lovebirds above them that you might see on old master paintings. She shows him a basket of red roses, symbolic of true love, the knowledge of which um, of the viewer would be very well known at this period through the ancient language of, of flowers, the knowledge of which was brought back from Turkey in the mid-18th century. He, in his turn, shows her his pipe, a symbol of fertility and fecundity. On the back here we have an exotic Venus lovebird standing over a pair, which when you look that up in the ancient language of flowers means affection, and it stands over also the rose hips, the fruit of love. Finally on this incredibly interesting piece we see on the cover two double bowed love knots which in their noblest forms were worn as diamond brooches. So overall heart-shaped panels, um, turquoise the symbol of marriage and a, an open rose as the finial showing the triumph of love. So.